am. Uh. Oh, pardon me. That was that was weak, but it's fine. I haven't really got. I I, I want to work on an overlay for for YouTube, but I just haven't really got around to it. So. Yeah. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. I just completely showed my desktop. That was terrific. Um, all right. Let's let's see. We should have the the. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It it that happened in the stream. That's great. Okay. So who do we have watching? How you guys doing? Present. Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. How you doing? Yeah. So I've I've just been speaking to Webby for a couple of minutes. He's already got himself a beer. Uh, which is obviously necessary when we're doing this kind of stuff. Um. Uh, how is everybody doing? How are you feeling? Yes, we got people. Are, people are telling me who they are. Like I don't know, guys. I don't know who any of you are. Who who are these people? Why are you watching us? Who is Webby? What is this? I mean, I'm sure that's a question you hear a lot. You know, who is Webby? All right, All right. No, no. Okay. Well, I, I thought it was being funny. Um, let me put out a a share quickly. Uh, to my Twitter. If everybody else who's watching could do the same, uh, apart from Alicia, don't if Alicia's here, don't pull out yours because there is a, there's somebody who follows you who doesn't like me, and last time you put one out, she responded, "Oh, that Loki Loki guy, he he just steps on everybody else. He doesn't care about anybody. I don't watch him, so uh, you know, don't do that." It's probably gonna DM me tomorrow. Be like, I'm like, what's going? What you want? Um, how do I like share easily? Is that is that not like, like a thing? Is that like not a thing? Oh, that's that's fucking annoying. All right, well, yeah, we'll do that. Got to get off your profile. Uh, doing my interview with DJ Webinold. Yeah, not at you are. Uh, live on YouTube. All right, cool. Great, guys. Thanks for joining. We're going to get started really soon. So yeah, what happened yesterday? Where we? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a fucking interview. Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm sure nobody here is upset. Uh, if you guys are, calm down. Uh, can they barely hear you? I am... Uh, okay, that would be something I'd sort out on my end. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Just give me give me a, give me me a a moment. I'm just going to put up this, this link. Tweet. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, you guys can barely hear him, apparently. Speak for me. Well, the reason why you can't fucking hear him is because he's not going for any of my fucking devices, is he? All right, speak now. One, two, three, how you doing, mate? How you doing, mate? All right, yeah, that's that, that's probably going to work now. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, my name's Webby. My real name's Paul Webb. Uh, not many people know that about me. Um, nobody fucking try and dox me because I swear to God I'll come for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, I'm a DJ. I'm from South East London, and... That's that's me in a nutshell, really. South East London, very specific, very specific. Yes, yeah. Right. Cool. Oh god, what the fuck is this shit? What am I doing? Oh, all right. Well, okay. Well, that's that's fine. All right. Okay, we're cool. I just I just wanted to test. We good? We good? Lit. Yep, we're good. Lit, lit like a bick, everybody. Lit like a bick. Can you turn yourself up, Loki? Oh god, I'm I'm gonna turn myself up. This is a uh, this is a game today. All right, I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. Okay and, then. And we should be in the sweet spot. There we go. I hope so. Oh yes, baby. Paul, nice to meet you, Paul. All right, okay, Abby, Thank you, No, no, Thank Paul, you, Abby. No, Abby, don't, 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 don't expose me. Nobody knows my name. <laughs> All right, nobody knows my name. Um, sound is good. So, guys, this is YouTube Live, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, this is uh, this is me. This is Webby. And today we're going to be talking about everything that's been going on recently. So, Webby, I, I really want to start off with the with the most obvious question. 
Go what, ahead. what brought you to you now? Because I mean, you're a DJ. You've yep. you've been um, traveling around the world. You've been yep. in lots of different countries. You've done lots of different venues. What brought you to the piece of shit known as you now? Um, it all started. I follow a YouTuber um, called Kill Him for the Win, um, and he started on here. Uh, he started broadcasting on you now, which yeah. brought me over to the app. Um, pretty much like I'd say. A good majority of people now have found the app through a YouTuber, so that was how I found the app, really. Um, I then realized that you could start making money on it if you get partnered, and I thought, oh, that could be a great source of income. People have told me that I should have webcams and stuff set up in my house because of the way I am, and, you know, people would pay to watch me, um, so I thought, why not? I mean, pay to watch you, that sounds more like chatterbait type shit than... <laughs> Not, um, not in that kind of way. <laughs> I mean, is it, have you ever considered anything like that, Webby? I mean... No, not in that, <laughs> that respect. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so uh, I first um, met you through Badass Joey, I believe. Yes, uh, yes. When when he was first going on the platform, you did a guest session with him when he was doing one of his little stints when he yep. first started. Honestly, I loved I loved Joey back then. He was, yeah. he was doing some really creative shit. Was, um, that, was that the one with Valley Man and he got stabbed, I think? Yeah, that was, yeah. It that was, was the one where I appeared in the guest queue, like, bound and gagged, right? Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, one. That, yeah. that that was that was great. And, uh, oh, that, honestly, that was, that was some great content. But, obviously, that's where I first started knowing about you. And then, obviously, you started to watch yeah. me and, and and everything like that. And ever since, it's just been kind of back and forth. And, obviously, I yeah. got partnered. And you watched me get partnered. And you watched me get a sub button. Guys, yeah. Web- Webby's, been, Webby's been with me for a very, very long time. Before, before... <laughs> Before I had a golden camera, before, before anything, man. Back when I was Jesus, man. Back when I was Jesus. I mean, that's some. That's some they, weird they, shit. They were the days, bro. There was some quality content with the segments and everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was it was pretty good, I guess. Nobody really watched it, but it was good. Yeah. Um, but but anyway, so apart from that. You are also well known in this community for something else, and that is you get you get into a lot of altercations. You get into a yeah. lot of situations with people, and it's not just one person. It's not just a couple of people. It seems to be half a fucking you now sometimes. At least that's how I feel about it when people speak about you. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, some of the things that we've obviously... The main thing that we're aware of recently is your situation with Wildman Chris. It's been going on for actually a lot longer than people are aware of. It's actually... Yeah. It's been uh, an ongoing... Uh, kind of problem for uh, just a long t- nearly two years now. I think R- two years. I think so. Yeah, I think it was. I think if I go back to them DMs that I sent you last week, I think they are, the dates on them actually say December two thousand sixteen. So yeah, all, just under two years then. I yeah. mean, I, I thought it was like like a year and a half, maybe. No, like, it, yeah. you know, it, it all started after the trouble that he had with Joey, because. He obviously put out a video about um, Bad Ost Joey, and it triggered me, like any any fan. I mean, I'm sure you've got fans that would obviously do the same for you, um, in in retrospect, like, you know, that they would sort of go and say, hey, man, leave him alone. And then I got pulled up to a guest. I got pulled into his guest, and it all started from there because of Chris's screen went green, and he actually thought that I'd hacked him, and that is where it all started from. It, of his it started. Style. It started because he thought that you yeah. hacked him. Yeah, th- that you were a pro hacking DJ. Yeah, that you turn tables and you also turn people's computers against them. That's right. That's yeah. that. sounds like a great. That sounds like some great comedy. But it so really so so was his. I mean, obviously, I haven't spoken to Chris really about this, but was yeah. there was there any kind of reference to why he believed what he did, or was it just like a right field statement? I think it was more of his chat was saying that I had hacked him because of his screen literally just cut out completely and went green. Yeah, I mean, and... I think that's one thing, obviously, it's not even just about Chris, it's about a lot of streamers, is the audience can really make things worse and can really add fuel to a fire that's already existing. You see it so yeah. many times with dramas and feuds and problems. I mean, me and Ryan, for example, uh, if our audiences um, weren't so volatile towards the the other streamer it wouldn't have been as bad but i mean a lot of of my fire starters wanted 
didn't, didn't, didn't like him so and still don't like him so it's <laughs> it's it's it is what it is but yeah it, it's a it's a really ridiculous concept but i don't know i've, I've always had a very weird relationship with Warman chris and i i feel like i you know i know it's going to come off a little bit bad to some of the people who are watching this at home in, in the audience but i think it might come from a position of pity like i feel yeah. like I, I feel like i pity him um i think I used it to a point, and then obviously he started shading me. He, he, you know, he's wished multiple times that I die of prostate cancer, and yeah. my father dies of it as well, um, which I've sent you screenshots of, um, and that, and then obviously recently other aspects which drove me over the edge. Um, but I did until that point. Like I felt yeah. sorry for him. Like when he guested with Joey, and Joey said to him, "Oh." you know do you shop at baby gap i kind of felt bad for him you know because of he didn't under, he was new to joey's broadcast he didn't understand what joey was saying he didn't understand what was going on you know but we like anyone that knew joey at the time knew that it was just a joke you know he yeah. wasn't meaning to be offended offensive or anything like that he just was trying to put a joke across i mean that's which, the thing that's the thing about having a dry sense of humor is that yeah. it that it can come across like it's same with me and you yeah. as well you know it's yeah. we can come across wrong to our audience i get dms weekly from people in some of my supporters my fire starters messaging me saying loki do we have a problem because i got a weird vibe from you i'm like no that's just my fucking humor sorry right, uh yeah. if i don't like you you'll know about it guys i'm just gonna put that out there <laughs> if i don't like you you'll know about it if he um, doesn't like you you end up on an interview on his youtube <laughs> Okay, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> um, you can only pity someone until they keep doing the same behaviors over and over again. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm a very forgiving man, but I don't think I've been affected the same way that Webby has. Like, that's that's. I think what happened, what what Chris did to me was very uh, wasn't very nice, but it was something that I could easily get over, and it was only like a couple of times. It wasn't a consistent attack. There wasn't. He didn't reference my family. Or anything like that and i think that's what made things really personal for you didn't it i think that's what yeah. really pushed it over the edge because i mean you didn't like him for the longest of times but it was no. never it was never to a point where you would get yourself banned over it right? no exactly and that whole situation was just me raging out because of yeah well, so, and stuff I was so, getting. so 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 if you don't mind asking yeah. I, I didn't actually i wasn't actually there for that because i don't watch wild man chris um yeah. but what what happened so he he was having a really good stream he was like top i think it was like dan and phil tag or something yeah, yeah. he got like the drop or something and yeah. you went in there and guested with him correct why did right, you do yeah. that why did you do so, that so the whole time like i went in there for a reason and i went in there to gain new fans and to gain to help um toxic josh gain his 100 people at once okay because i knew that obviously my supporters would push me up the hashtag to the point i would get considerative a considerate drop from them which would allow me to drop instantly onto josh if he could get behind me um just so he could get that badge over and done with because i mean i don't know if you ever was you was before was it before i can't remember if you actually had to get that badge yeah i did yeah um and you know how hard it is to get 100 people in your broadcast at one time it is it's difficult yeah, yeah. so i thought you know what if i can help him out then I will because he's you know he's 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 a very big supporter of mine he always drops on me things like that you know if I can get yeah. back in way for him then yeah. I'm happy with that um so I, I I mean we were battling out for the second place in the hashtag um so he thought I was trying to beat him in the hashtag so, so it was you versus Chris in the tag yeah and obviously due to your prior situation it kind of inflamed those situations and made things right. worse yeah by the way on a side note, a hundred people watching. Rising Come star on. on YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, keep going. So yeah, you guys were battling out Webby versus One Man Chris, and yeah. and and how did this really like turn from being friendly competition into I'm gonna get in your guest queue and shout at you? So it went from him sending people over to my chat, um, and basically having my stream playing in the background of his stream. Um, okay and then basically calling me you know you're never gonna get this which is healthy competition i don't really care i wasn't there to win the whole i mean trial. i mean it's not healthy competition going into somebody else's stream or saying in your stream oh you're not yeah. gonna get it you're not gonna be able to do this you're not gonna do that yeah. that's that's not that's not healthy competition dude that's 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 yeah. quite the opposite 
That was yeah. that's, that's a bit, but but why? Just did you just randomly do that? Did you just think it was like like what's your understanding from it? What is your from understanding? What I understand from the way that he is and his mentality with it is because of he has a problem with Canadian Dream, and obviously she is one of my biggest supporters. Um, and the girlfriend. He thinks and yeah. the girlfriend. Yeah, true. Um, he thinks that she his whole premise of it was you know that she couldn't even get me to first because she didn't drop on me and as i said to as i was trying to say to him in that in that broadcast i wasn't asking to be put to first you know i was just asking to be in the top three so i could get the drop for right. josh because you know that that was it i mean i made 50 fans that broadcast i was on for 20 minutes i made 50 fans because of you know, th- there's a way of talking to Dan and Phil's fans to make sure that they do hit the fan button. You know, um, well, hey there, kids. Hey, Dan and that? Phil fans. Hey, I'm a clown. Fan me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no shade. I'm just don't, no, 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 no. Don't, but, don't, you know, don't mean me. No, 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 definitely. I don't. Know. You know, it's fine. But uh, no, if you can, if you can sort of level with them and say to them, look, you know, don't. If even if you don't come back, just hit the fan button. I'm trying to gain an achievement on it. Most of them are gamers, so they they sort of do it. Oh. Um, which I have noticed like four times that I've got the drop from them. Um, so it seems to work. But you know, even if they never come back to your stream. But yeah, so I I went in there to do that. He sort of wanted to just, because of the, the ongoing issue between me and him, he wanted to make it into something big. I had people come into my uh, DMs saying to me, he's talking about my son, he's talking about my dad, he's talking about my, me, um, and then they would block me. So the message instantly sort of went. And you, if you if you actually, if I don't know if you can go, but you can't see my broadcast. If I ever get a sub button, you'll see it. I change because I look at my phone and I change. I literally go from being really happy and then I just start bang each message comes through and I start losing it. Yeah. And obviously everyone's telling me to calm down and I'm like, I can't, you know, at this point I can't. And I, I made a joke saying that I was going to go into his broadcast if he carried on and have it out with him because he made the, he made the, the suggestion of me and him on your show, like having it out like me and acid did. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, I got to a point where I was so angry that I was like, fuck waiting for Loki. I'm doing this now once and for all. Um, so that's what led me to go into his chat and start me because he, there's no need for his supporters to come to me and start saying stuff to me and my my direct messages saying he's talking about you, he's talking about your son, he's you know, which for anyone wouldn't be very nice. You yeah. wouldn't like that situation. Like I can imagine Bratty being the same if somebody was like she was in thing and somebody was talking about her like she got a message yeah. saying somebody was talking about her kids she would probably go the same route that i did i think I, I think i think i think anybody would right i think yeah. any anybody in that kind of situation um but obviously what happened next went really kind of off uh yeah. off off the cliff didn't it you you right. went up you you guested him yeah. and you you had it out, out, out of him i don't i don't think the guest session is still available is it uh, i think it's um i think it's still on my profile is it I think so. I, I, from what I know, you now are trying to remove every trace of that um, session, um, that guest session from you now. But obviously, there's moments and stuff that people have called that they can't find or they're not about. And they're the only ones that they sort of are removing are the ones that have been sort of sent to you now. Um, but there's definitely, I know there's a lot of my fans that have moments um, and things like that that they're not obviously going to find. Yeah, I mean, they usually delete most of the stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty sure it has been deleted. I'm gonna quickly just scroll through and see. Yeah, yeah it, lo- it looks like it's yeah it's been it's it's been deleted and that it, it makes sense. Oh god, there's pictures of me on it. Oh god, ah, really? <laughs> oh, you weird cunt. All right, but uh yeah, I mean uh, uh, yeah. So let's 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 proceed from where we were. But you obviously you guys kind of had it out. Um, oh wait, I remember actually. Uh, I did I did watch a portion of it and I put it up on my Twitter and. Yeah. You, it started off being like really kind of like passive aggressive and you guys yeah. and he was like oh who pissed in your drink and then you yeah. did chris you did and i was like oh my god this is this is like this is but like it went it went really down like this uh this road and apparently you like um threatened to kill him right yeah yeah i did and what, i think what, that's more did you just snap i snapped um, I snapped, and I've had I've had a death threat from Chris anyway. Um, last year, he turned around and said to me, "If I ever went to play this, that he would shoot me." 
I, I th- he, he said that kind of stuff about me too. He said he was yeah. gonna he said he was gonna beat me so, up the playlist. I'm like, dude, you yeah. can't even lift your arms to your head. How are you gonna fight right. me? Uh, so I think I just thought, you know what, you've done it to me. Now let's let's turn the tables and do it to you. See how you like it, really. Right. But um, I think where I where I fucked up big time was telling him how I was gonna kill him. I think that's where a lot of people lost a lot of respect for me. Um, was by telling him how I was gonna do it. I think that's where. I know. I I, I feel I feel like it, it was very British of you. Um, Absolutely. Uh, you know. I mean, I, I feel like there are people who aren't gonna understand it, but I feel like most of the Brits yeah. completely yeah. are on board. Like we we threaten each other all the time. It's kind of right, it yeah. follows it follows a kind of protocol. That's why when people threaten me, I don't really. It depends on how how people threaten me. Uh, yeah. But if people just give me like say they're gonna beat me up or they're gonna like something like that, I'm just like fuck fuck that. But it, yeah. Um. Unless unless you piss me off and then I'll start like ruining your life like I did to a couple of people, but we're not gonna get into that. That's a story for a different interview. I'll tell you that. Right. Um, yeah. But like, was there anything in particular that like actually kind of pushed you to actually say that about just, him? Just the way that the guy just would not shut the fuck up. Really, you know. Yeah. And I, just he it, would just carry on going. I beat you in this hashtag. Blah 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 blah. It, it seemed like, like it seemed like he was gaslighting you a little bit. He was trying yeah. to he was trying to make you question your own sanity and try to like yeah. question your own motives. Right. And but he also said in in that guest session that he's going to do everything he can to get me banned, um, which yeah. I didn't hear. So yeah. he then, after saying that, has then started goading me and goading me and goading me and pushing me and pushing me and pushing me to the point I just went and yeah. I snapped. And once I snapped, that's it. You can't really take something back once and you've it, snapped. And he got you banned. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I'd say more suspended. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think you now was ever going to keep me banned. How? Wait, wait. What do you mean? You, you didn't. You didn't think they were going to keep you banned? Yeah. Um. The first message I sent to the help desk was obviously i reported well man chris after that message i spent an hour and a half typing them a massive email saying you know so showing them screenshots of everything sending over um the youtube videos i compiled a lot against him like the youtube video that he made about you and acid um the the moments that sully has of him saying about he wishes that his mum would die things like that i compiled it all together and i sent it to you now saying is this really the type of person that you want on you now you yeah. know, I, I do not agree now watching back the, the guest session that I did with him of what I said. And I will take a suspension for it. However long you want, I will take. Yeah. Um, I can't, I do not feel that a permanent ban would be acceptable in this situation due to the fact of the nature of the drama that's been going on between me yeah. and World Bank Grace for the length of time it has. Um, so... If you go back through the reports that I have sent you, I've sent you multiple ones about him yeah. and me, um, but you do nothing about them. Right. So, it is, I it said, is, this is kind of your fault. It is. A, oh my! I, I'm sure you didn't say that. I'm, I'm sure. No, you, I did. Yeah. If I can find the email that I sent to them, I'll show you it. Oh, please do. I, I'm pretty sure. I, 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 you did apologise, didn't you? I remember yeah. you said that you yeah. said sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm Webby, and I'm sorry. Right. Sorry. Um, yeah. There's. there's we got some interesting comments in the chat. Uh, nothing really relevant at this point. But yeah. so. so this is uh, how long were you banned for or suspended for? I think it was like three days. I think three days was what yeah. I got. It was no longer than four days. I know that. I got banned. I got banned. I think it was when was your? It was last Saturday, wasn't it? I think it was last Saturday. I got banned. I was unbanned by Tuesday. Yeah. So you've know, got a comment in the chat as somebody is is questioning the intent of my moderators. Uh, I want I want to tell you right now, snobbish, that this interview is um, not one for hecklers. Uh, we do have a chat, but that the chat is there for you guys to t- talk amongst yourselves, not to try to antagonise or goad the guest or me as the host. Um, think of it as watching from an audience and sitting on a chair and saying "fucking quiet." All right, that's. <laughs> That's the kind of concept that we're going for today with this interview. And hopefully it's a concept we can do more often with these types of interviews where it's a little bit more uh, sporadic and a little bit more intense, which is uh, definitely uh, a good theme for this uh, this situation. Um, but yeah, so there, there, were, there were people who were very, very upset with you uh, being being suspended and, and banned. Do you feel like it, your suspension was unwarranted? Do you feel like you deserved your suspension? 
I well, I believe that I, you know afterwards that I did say that I would take a suspension, so I I truly believe that I deserved one. Um, yeah. Whether that be for two days, three days, or two months, you know, that's a different. Um, so, yeah. you know, I I honestly felt that you know telling someone that you're going to kill them and how you're going to kill them is a bit fucked, and yeah. that is that 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 definitely deserves a suspension. Yeah, and I so, mean. I mean, the thing is, and I think um, my stance on this is that, you know, you should have been suspended, but he should be disciplined too. Yes. Um, I've been disciplined more times than I can remember, Webby, for things that I've said, things that I've done on you now. And I believe that if you do something wrong, you should be, you know, you should you should own up to it. You should, you should, you know, you should take your dues. Right. Reap what I, you sow, as it, as, it, as, it, as it was. I did say in that email I sent to you now, I did heavily refer to you telling someone to drink bleach and said, "Oh, that, dude, you I'm bet." Oh. No, 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 no. Why? Because what I was saying, because of the the whole point of me saying that to you now was, how can it be one rule for one and one rule for another? He got suspended. I get a permanent ban. That's not exactly right, is it? You Fuck know? you, and Webby. Was, <laughs> sorry, yeah, but again, I, I referenced it because you wasn't a partner at the time. Was you? No, yeah, because Fair. that's why you got. Fair. Yeah, you wasn't a partner at the time, and that's why I said to them, you know, Webby, yeah. if I got fucking banned because of you, I would have been fucking livid. <laughs> I would have been fucking. I would have gone to Southeast London. I swear to God, I would have called up fucking Warman Chris. We would have. It, it would have been a fucking field day. Baseball bat, cricket bat, the whole fucking shebang. Honestly, You're lucky. I love you, man. What, you, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? I'm lucky. You threw me. You basically threw me under the bus to say you were scared. You on, I didn't throw you under the bus. I just said I was just referencing you because obviously at the time you was a non-partner, and I thought you know it, it's fundamentally it's the same thing. Yeah, so you, somebody in chat, dang, Webby driving the bus, Loki got thrown under. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, did you get banned? Did you even get an email from you now? No, they yeah. they literally just did you? No, I'm I, talking about after since oh. I said that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, there you go. See, then it doesn't matter, does it? I mean... They, they, I personally don't even think they read the messages that we send them. What, so, so they, you just think they just automatically unbanned you for no reason? Like, YOLO, think, he messaged I, us, so let's unban him. Like, No, I think the responses I've had from you now have been very automated, botty responses. And if you know how to respond to a bot that would read what your response is that's how they unban you because of the responses that i've had from them are very not like a human being has typed them out they are very generic responses well yeah but i mean the same for me you now you now are very generic i, I would actually yeah. i will tell you though that the person the Ugh. i forgot who you the person that does a lot of the the moderating stuff a jane. Lot of, not jane it's somebody else vivian oh. vivian okay Vivian and Jane are actually real people. They're not bots. Are they? Yeah, okay. they're real people. I haven't met them, but I, I, that was the one, the first question I asked when I went into the office yeah. uh, in New York. And I said, so, is Vivian real? And they were like, <laughs> ho, 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 you funny, Loki. And I'm like, yeah, so, is she real? Yes, she's, she's yeah. just not in today. And I was like, oh, I, want, I wanted to speak to her about why she... Uh, Bandit, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet she was. I bet she was in office. She just, it just didn't want like me to talk to her. I, I can, I can, yeah. I could get that. I could get that. It's, um, it's probably more of a conflict of interest because you could have gone to her and been like, oh, you person, never, if, you know, you could have gone to her and said about beat it, which I'm actually sure that I could probably get beat it unbanned because of the way that I said that, the way that the responses are. Because even, you know, you know, Badass Matrix has been unbanned as well from what he has said. And it was him that showed me, um, it was him that showed me the generic message that he got. I read the one I had and it was exactly the wait, same. Wait, Buddy Matrix has been unbanned on you now? Well, he, the first time he got banned, he got oh. unbanned. Yeah. Oh. And oh. he screenshotted the message that they sent him back and it was exactly the same response. Oh, yeah, that but... I had. But that's 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 no that's not even relevant. I mean, they they do that anyway. They always send automated responses back because they're lazy, right? Yeah. I mean, so you're not gonna expect them to like you know type out like twenty different fucking unbanned emails or referencing emails every no, day. No, of course not. Of course yeah. not. Who, who gives a shit about that? You know, fuck that. No, uh, sure, sure, she's not there. Right, right, Canadian. That's what I, that's what I was fucking thinking. Like, fucking show me Vivian. Let's talk about this stuff. Um, 
Yeah, right, Nina. Yeah, Loki's coming in. I'm not going to come in today, guys. You know, I don't want to be here when Loki's in. He might try and feed me bleach or something. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I have to admit, when you said that, that was the best line that I've ever heard you say. To that, was, that was great. Oh, Great dude, content. it would piss me off, man. It, they were telling me to fucking die and shit, man. Like, it's, it, yeah. it's a similar situation, actually, I guess. Um, Fuckers! <laughs> well, Beat It is not banned on here. She is free here. The shackles have been removed. She is uh, a Rottweiler, uncaged and unscathed. On that situation with Beat It, I'd just like to say the time, the very short time I spent in now jail with Beat It was absolutely amazing. She's a really nice person and everyone should show her some love. Yeah, Beat It's awesome. I'm a free tit. Yes, you are a free tit. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, so uh, I can't give you your fan count here. That's, that's, Is that Josh Toxic? I, I assume. I assume. Uh, he he's um basically you know, he comes into my broadcast and he gives me my official fan count because he's really good at maths and because I have it behind me how many fans I need to five k, um, um he tells me if my ball's right, right. So uh, obviously you got you got unbanned, you're back. Yeah. And what was like the general response from you kind of coming back? I mean um did you have you heard anything from your enemies since the situation? Uh, personally from what the conversations that I have had with you now that are not generic responses, I'm not allowed to talk to anyone that I've had a problem with in the past. I'm not allowed to mention them. Um, there is there is a lot of terms and conditions of what? my account being unbanned. So, okay, that's that's actually really, really interesting. So, yeah. but but what if you're being goaded again? What if, what if I'm... They're... So, if I'm being goaded, I am to get moments and i am to report them to you now to say that they are goading me to basically switch again and to have me removed from the site See, so i'm um, to basically say that i'm being bullied that's not that's not very easy though i mean we're, no. especially especially being british we don't really like to uh i'll tell you guys i've very there have been very very few times that i've reported somebody on you now i right. usually I, I usually just shout at them on broadcast that's usually the way that i deal with my problems and it's more fun that way i'd say um yeah but you know, I, I feel I feel almost like a little bit of a snake when I when I report people. I feel kind of like snitches get stitches, you know. And it's I was all... gonna, I was just about to say, yeah. I think as British, we we, we are brought yeah. up to believe that snitches get stitches. I mean, I don't know what it's like. Well, I mean, you're just outside of London, so I mean, yeah. we're not yeah. that far apart. A couple of an hour or so. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, don't worry. It's, it's uh, I heard. Uh, yeah, this is this this is not the conversation we're supposed to be having in the chat. Somebody, Jake, cut it out. Um, I can't cut. read the chat. I really wish I could. No, but it's like it's almost like I wouldn't say it's like gang mentality, but it's it's some sort of it's some sort of I say it's more about pride, yeah. and I, and I feel like by by going and and kind of calling calling telling the teacher on someone or te right. you know going to the police, it's a kind of yeah. a. Uh, it's a kind of a malicious thing to do, and it's and it's very disingenuous. And there have been times where people have threatened my, you know, my my family. People made yeah. references that I felt were very very unpleasant. I I didn't report them, you know. There have only yeah. been there have been a couple of times that I've reported people, and that most of my old guard know those times. Yeah, They're very yeah, very definitely. specific. So. I mean, I think it, a lot of it are different to sort of America's humor. Yeah. Um, so, oh, and the way we say things, I mean, the greatest example I can give of that is, have you ever seen, obviously, our in-betweeners and the American version of the in-betweeners? Oh, yeah, the American version of in-betweeners is shit. Sucked so bad. It's, it's really shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that to me tells me that we are definitely completely different. Our language, where we know that our language is completely different to, say, their language, and our humor is completely different to their humor. Um, and I think that the way that we go off on someone would be considered pretty bad, but we don't see it as that bad because yeah. that's what we know. Whereas someone in America would take it like, but then again, that is a nation that likes to just sue each other for right. anything. Right. <laughs> so no shade to America. I Get rid of Donald Trump, Trump now. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> so, so, so obviously since uh, you've been unbanned, um, has it all stopped then as as chris laid off as his supporters laid off i've seen some of him my streams kind of talking and saying oh chris yeah. is a you know chris this where be that and it's all just like really trivial and really redundant like, um, it's, it's definitely like serious you know it's just it's just no, all yeah. it's just all bullshit 
it, it's um, just talk, isn't it, at the moment? Because of, I mean, for God's sake, when me and Aston met each other, look how long that one lasted until you squashed it, you know. And even after that, it was still talked about for a couple of like weeks after, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it's just fresh drug because of that. The way I see you now is it thrives on. They say they don't want it, but it makes them money. Let's face it. Yeah. If I go off on someone. You then report on it. You get likes because of that. You make them money. You make money. It's it's that it's a vicious. It, it, it's, it's curious you say that. I don't, I don't I don't really know how much of my support comes from me reporting drama. Usually, I actually get the most support when I'm just sitting on my ass and talking about nonsense. But yeah. no, I I, 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 I'd say, I'd say I'd say I'd say I get the most views when I talk yeah. about drama. I think that's probably a better statement. Um, Before Joey left the platform, um, he guested me, and yeah. he was 45 minutes into a broadcast, and he only had I think it was something stupid like 58 people in that 45 minutes, yeah, which is absolutely ridiculous for Joey to just have that. The moment me and Joey started talking about drama, his view count in 45 minutes went from under what a partner should be getting to over what a partner should be getting. You know, yeah. we had like 500 people come through within that 15 minutes section. So it really, it really, the thing is, and I, I, I'd always say this, like it's, it's a double edged sword. Cause if you do, if you, if you jump into this kind of situation, Right. It it will change you, and it's changed yeah. me. I, I'm not the same guy I was last year, and it's just it's only been a fucking year of like dealing with this. Like I get I get threats all the time. I get people insulting me all the time, and it's it's great. It's it's fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. It's but that's that, it just works for me, and it's actually made me into a really strong person. But it's not for everybody, and it will it will destroy a lot of people. That's the one Definitely. thing I will I will say about it. It will it will break some uh, some people apart. So, yeah. and it almost broke me apart, actually. So, I think a lot of it goes down to you have to be really thick-skinned as well to oh, take. Yeah, on you now. yeah, you do. Um, and I, I mean, I do to a point, unless my family's involved, and then because people can say whatever the fuck they want about me, I couldn't give a fuck. Right. You know, I mean, for fuck's sake, my dick's been leaked all over Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> what is there that I have left to hide? You know. Um, yeah, so, so for anybody who's unaware, who's watching uh, at home or wherever you guys are watching from. Uh, Webby is one of the few individuals on you now who's actually uh, had private information, uh, private pictures of himself, not information, but pictures of himself leaked. Um, you were hacked last year, weren't you? By yeah, I mean, you still don't know who the, who it was, do you? Uh, what was his name? Um, something we, Nazi. So he, yeah, so yeah. obviously by the name Nazi, we can tell he's not a bad. Yeah. Fe- sorry, he's not a he's not a good fellow. Um, right. But I mean, did you know him? Was he just like a random attacker? Like he just. Thought... I think it was just a random attacker because at the time I was, it was a Dan and Phil drop again, yeah. um, and obviously I'm sitting number one in the hashtag. I'm sitting number one on trending. Um, Wait, so, so so you think it happened because you were on you now at the time? You don't think? Yeah, I know how it yeah. happened. I know exactly how it happened. Ex- I was explain. screen sharing. I was screen sharing my phone on the side of my screen so it was half me half my phone yeah and we was and then i started getting all these messages come up on my phone about my twitter yeah and it was like um did you try and reset your password so all they've done is they've connected to my twitter because it was linked to my profile they've gone into forgot my password put in my username and then the message comes through on my phone and it gives you the code on an iphone doesn't it and he saw the code pop up he typed yeah. it in changed yep. your password and really quick and just stole the moment account. he had that the moment he got into my account, that way he had my you now, he had my Instagram, he had everything because everything is linked. Everything was linked into my Twitter. Yeah. Um, because of that, that, I didn't set my stuff up. Somebody else did. Like, but my management company set Obvi- my stuff up for me. Obviously, you're a pretty proud guy, and you're. I'm assuming you're you're comfortable with your own body. But like, what was it? What was it like? I mean, it must have been really surreal, kind of going through that. Um. A lot of it was I was worried um, because of I have a lot of record labels and stuff on my Twitter and uh, a lot yeah. of clubs. I was worried at that fact, but luckily for me, it was done at like four o'clock in the morning our time. Not a lot of these people were awake at that time. As long as I could have it down and sorted by seven a.m., I was good, you know. And I did. I mean, I got it down very fucking quickly. Um, yeah. 
because I have I have an email that I can just go through to Twitter and um, just sort of say to them, hey, this has been happened. Wait, you, sort it out. you you played it off like there was like thousands of people who saw your picture. Is that not the case um, then? I mean, not no, many. there is. When so once they remove the post, um, because they they put the hashtags on it, um, which would have put it into um, the categories on sort of Twitter, whatever's trending. So what it was hashtagged. Trend. So anything that was trending was hashtagged on it. So it would have gone into every single one of them categories. Oh, shit. Um, so anytime anyone went into that category, my dick would appear. Um, so say, say for example, you had YouTube, like hashtag YouTube was trending. Hashtag YouTube was in the, the tweet. So you're telling me that I could have like hashtagged YouTube on my Twitter and your dick could have just popped up on my yeah. screen. Yeah. Oh, God. I... That that would give me some, oh, thank God I'm not like a like a thirteen year old girl who's like right. really naive and sheltered and I just wanna exactly. I wanna look at YouTube on Twitter. <laughs> like, right. like, you know, that, so that was also that was also a worrying aspect for me as well. Yeah. Um because of nobody wants that really to to be seen, you know, because that can get someone in a lot of trouble regardless whether I was hacked or not. I, I mean, still, like, I mean, I mean, kind of. I mean, Nate, like posting nudity on on Twitter is actually okay. Like, it's yeah. it, it's okay from like the rules standard, but obviously there's still a um, like a, maybe a cultural like a social aspect to this that makes it obviously not okay. Right. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a, a tricky taboo, I would say. But yeah, it, I mean, the one one thing I will say is there's a lot of people who fear being attacked they fear going through difficult situations but i mean getting your dick leaked getting your dick exposed to like thousands of people that that must be pretty high on the list of things that people could be worried about hey you know? all i'm gonna say on the matter was my dms blew up that's you know um <laughs> <laughs> wait wait I wait lost, In i what lost way? a lot of my followers from it um a lot of women were very intrigued Okay, yeah, all right, okay, yeah. right, all right, okay, um, They're like, oh, it's a, a penis. I mean, I dropped, Ooh. Right, I dropped like 4,000 followers on Twitter because of it. Yeah. So, which hurt quite a lot. That that was quite harsh. Um, But, hey-ho, you know, it happens. I'll just claw to regain them. Yeah, well, I don't really I, use Twitter that much anyway, so. I am going to say, I mean, not that it's relevant anymore because you are in a committed relationship. Um, yes. But... For future reference, best to not ever reference or have pictures of yourself on your Twitter. Who the right. fuck sends nudes over Twitter, Webby? What the fuck? All right, that, to be fair, it that's was like, like from. Who does the, that? The thing is, the thing is, right, is if they 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 must have gone through a lot of my DMs, but they could have leaked my address, my phone number, everything, because obviously there's conversations between me and record labels and, and nightclubs and, and stuff. They, so and all they of focus, their stuff is there. And they focus on your dick, which was pretty much which was hilarious. Which, well, wait, 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 hilarious in a sense. I mean, thank God it wasn't your your family and right. yeah, yeah. The, these so, labels, these connections, because yeah. that could have uh, completely ruined your right. your, your career, um, um, or at least the, the, part of it. I honestly believe it was someone from you now that knew me, because they went for something that they specifically looked for, yeah. and. I think it was because of the whole. Do you remember when me? I don't know if he was there, but me and Joey sent each other. That's the picture that they took. Yeah, it was from that because I sent it to him yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. So it's, yeah. they they knew who to look for and where to find this picture. And because okay. they must have known that me and Joey had done this, but they didn't do his; they did mine. Yeah. So yeah. that's the only thing that I can think of. So it must have been it must have been somebody who obviously has had a problem with you for a long time. It's it's it's, it's an interesting concept. I mean, not, not not anything that we should really kind of worry ourselves about at this point. Yeah. But it's, um, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you've you've gone through that. You've come out the other side. And there's, I mean, I, I I think obviously it's it's an awful thing, and it it, yeah. it it sucked that it happened. But I mean, there's a lot of people who didn't see it, and I think that's probably. I didn't help myself after that with it getting on Instagram. Um, Wait, it had been sorry? Taken off the, right, so it had, been, it had been on Twitter, and I got it taken down. And then there was a streamer, quite a famous one on Rise, who was quite famous on YouTube and you now as well, um, who's also gay. I mean, it's not poet before anyone asks. Um, 
I was really drunk one night and I was in I was on rise and I was I gave it the whole you know the big and I don't give a need to people so I go and I send him the picture because he was like you know I didn't see it so I sent him the picture on Instagram next thing I know he fucking puts it on his Instagram another 10,000 people that he had like followed have now seen that picture so you were on rise yeah intoxicated yeah and a gentleman who yeah. is is interested in the, the the phallus yes um asked you whether he could see your phallus uh, yeah. and he obviously he hadn't seen the picture right. and you decided that it would be acceptable and appropriate of you to send yeah. him a picture of your of your phallus at the point, I, I was just like, you know what, fuck it. It's already been seen by this many people. What's one more going to hurt, you know? I mean... Pretty much my attitude at the time. Are, are you straight, baby? Uh, yeah, 100%. Hmm, interesting. Uh, can you, can you, can you, can you want... Are you, do you understand why I'm kind of questioning that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, as I said, like, mm. a lot of my mentality at the time was, you know what, it's been seen by this many people, so fuck it. What's one more going to hurt, you know? For fuck's sake, your girlfriend had made a meme out of it and stuck it to your forehead. I was a pretty unicorn, I'll tell you that. Right. Um. <laughs> you know, so I think when shit like that sort of... And I didn't... I, the, the problem I had is I didn't know who he was and I didn't realise that he actually had that much of a following. I mean, so, do you mind me asking? Who, who, who is it? I can't remember. All I, all I remember is he's quite an old gentleman. So... Um, can, you, can, you, can you give me a... An idea of what they look like, maybe? Sort of oldish gentleman with beard. Um, it's not John Buckhouse, he was older than him. So, so, so how old are we talking? Are we talking middle age? Are we talking senior? I mean, probably late 40s. Early maybe 50s. early 50s, yeah. White hair, black hair, brown White hair. White hair. White hair, fat, yeah. skinny. I'd say probably average. Average. Yeah. D- with a beard? Yeah, with a beard, yeah. Oh God, I'm trying. To, I'm. <laughs> is, is it is it sinister? No, no I'm only kidding. No, it's um... not sinister. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, um, w- w- yeah, it must have been Rosy, Peter, John. Um, who's that? Um, it could have been Peter. Peter. I think it might have been. Was yes, it... I think Peter. Yes, the name rings a bell. P- Peter Mon. Was it Peter Mon? It might have been. No. It might have been. I don't. I don't believe that. No, I don't. I don't. Peter Mon's got a, is a, is married. I think that. I don't think that's. Why would he be okay. on rise? I don't think. I don't think it's Peter. Okay. Um. If if it was, that'd be some serious fucking tea. But I don't. I don't right. think it is. Yeah. No, uh, no. That's, that's, um. That's, yeah. I mean. I mean. John. John, John something. Oh, it it's just... oh, it's John something. Yeah. Okay, Peter, so guys. John or not Peter Mon, but like. Something I can't remember. I mean, if I went actually back through DMs on Instagram, I could probably find out. But you should. That'd be some great tea. <laughs> I'd be I'd be here for that. Um, yeah, guys, calm down. The chat's like now blowing up. Everybody's like going crazy in the chat. Everybody, calm down, please, please. Uh, if I've got to find out. Wait, is it John Dell? Oh, it could have been John Dell. It's a John Dell. Somebody, somebody DM me a picture of John Dell. Is it John Dell? Um, that's a good one. It could be John Dell. It could be John Dell. He, he was he was a producer as well. Yes. Yeah, it could it could have been John Dell. But he was also a partner. I think mm. he was a partner. He might mm. not have been a partner. Mm. Killers. <laughs> oh, kitty. Oh god. I have no idea what your chat is saying right now, but I can only imagine right now. How oh, that, 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 don't worry. No, nothing nothing mean towards you. It's just all comedy. Um. Okay. It's all banter. Uh-huh. Um, well, it's, yeah. So who is John Dell? So I, I remember John Dell being uh, an interesting fellow. He'd sometimes pop in my streams. Uh, don't really remember much about him. I know he used to go live quite a lot. Didn't really watch him because he was boring. But yeah. Same, reason, see same reason why I don't watch many people on you now. <sighs> Snooze fast. Right. If I want to go to sleep, I'll turn the fucking lights off. And, you know, there you go. Uh that's it. We're yeah. here for Webby's Willy. We stand. Great. <laughs> Fuck's sake. 
<laughs> Dream just texted me and said, I'll grow a beard for your fetish. Lovely. Right. So any any of the men in here, if you've got a beard, you could get a picture of Wendy's <laughs> penis. You, you... No, that's not the case. Well, just wait for him to drink again. C a couple more beers down here, Webby, and we can... We can, we can... Hey, wait, wait, why do you think I drink Bud Light now? <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but no, don't, don't worry, you don't have to dig through your Instagram, even though it would be quality tea. Um, right. It's probably better that we continue on. Yeah, so life after the dick pic. Yes, exactly, Shan. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Um, who cares about Webby's little warrior? I mean, it's a huge topic of discussion considering that it was leaked and he's like one of the few people on you now who's actually known for be having his, his private parts being leaked. You'd be surprised. A lot of people are very slutty on you now, but not many people get caught on it. I'll tell you that yeah. right now. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're a slutty, Webby. I'm just saying that the concept of sexual well, anymore, anyway. sexual engagement on on you now has been something that's very kind of kept under the sheets, you know. Yes. I know yeah. a lot. I know a lot of whores on on you now, but I don't really talk about that because that would be that would be unpolite, wouldn't it, everybody? That would be that wouldn't be very polite of me. Um. So you gotta. I'm here for Canadian cream. All right. Okay. Okay, Nina. Um. I'm the okay. one. All right. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, as a lot of people know that I am in a relationship with Dream, um, yeah. and she has calmed me down. The whole time we've been talking, I haven't been. People have said to me that, you know, what has changed in you in, say, the last five months? And I would say it's her influence on me and getting to the point where at now that has completely changed me. Um, yeah. I'm not the same person I was, whereas before I would call girls out. I, I did a fucking broadcast where I was like, right, so it was i'm an fbi agent was the tagline and i would get girls to just send me pictures of their boobs and i'd inspect them and say that i was a federal booby inspector it worked i had pictures sent to me um but yeah no more of that <laughs> but it worked <laughs> and federal booby inspector what is it right. Uh, uh, all right okay it was great gun i i, I <laughs> I abused um, glitter shit on to get likes on you now out of people to get me up in a hashtag by getting her to put pictures of her like in a bra in my guest queue. You know, each different like. Or, I'm not proud of the stuff that I've done. Put it that way. But yeah, that's just to say some things that I've T, done. T, T, <sighs> T. T, you T. Told me to be open and honest in this interview. Uh, so. I mean, honestly, the, uh, Webby, you're really blowing this this interview away currently. I, I don't know how everybody <laughs> is feeling at home, but uh, I, I, I'm uh, I, I, I'm enjoying this thoroughly, even though it's kind of I've, got it's I've got guested with malice and multiple times because, like you know, she's 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 got great tits and well, she normally has them out on in what she wears so um yeah okay webby so I, I was saying i like the interview i wasn't saying let's talk about more women who you find no i'm just saying yeah right, like, let's, just saying, yeah, you know. yeah 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 this is it, this is kind of it's going off uh, in, uh <laughs> i mean yeah let's let's yeah yeah he's, he's being a bit of a perv right now but no i'm um, um going back to your original statement webby it's lovely to hear yeah. that you've you know started to calm down a little bit you you, you, yeah. you may be following a little bit in my footsteps because i mean i've i've definitely changed from yeah. uh just call me jesus days when I, I would guest girls and i would ask them inappropriate questions and watch right. them get embarrassed and then yeah. i would and then they would ask me an, an inappropriate question and then that would be it that was that was some pretty good content it was. Um, it was great content, and I think I learned a lot from that. And I thought, <laughs> oh, you learned from it. me. Oh yes, yeah. master, master Jesus. Oh yes, I'm a, I'm a humble Padawan. I mean, um, you did not do what I did, so you know. This, it's true. You, I, I, yeah, I, I remember I, your, I remember your days of um, going on plenty of fish and like trolling these unsuspected <laughs> women. Uh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into it. But I remember when you did your little Snapchat like stories. Yeah. They those were great. Like I, me and Abby, we love those. We 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 oh, love those. Bullshit um, profile of the week. Uh, yeah. yeah, bullshit profile picture of the week. And you had like well, one of them still on my YouTube channel. So oh god, oh god, great content. I, I've always yeah. been. I've always been really considered in, like doing something like that myself. Maybe a little bit less grotesque, but you know. Yeah, I mean, at least find some semi. -deep 
some sort of funny meme content, like set up yeah. a Tinder account and just fucking troll people on it. Yeah, um, as well. <laughs> so why is everyone being so cordial and censored? Because this is my stream and we're on YouTube Live where this is like, we're not on Yuna anymore. This is my community here, which I think is fucking sexy. Like, right. we're not in the Yuna community anymore. We're in the, the Fire Nation community. Right. Right. So it's, it's all, it's all, it, you're my people, you know? my people okay um i'm not gonna, I'm gonna do that anymore um yeah you guys and you guys could swear in here pretty much so yeah pretty muscle tough. so it's it's pretty it's pretty sweet just don't say anything that's really over the top and you'll be fine if you do you'd probably get banned um no nah, i'd rather you didn't kyle some of those messages will, will not actually pop up and my moderators will have to like accept your messages and that just gives them unneeded yeah. work so don't be dicks um i've been a loki's moderator and trust me it yeah i'm yeah. glad you took it away <laughs> yeah i i took i took it i took it away whilst I, I realized that you were still a moderator when you said oh yeah guys pack it in i was like oh shit were we still a moderator like this <laughs> like i moderated you when i first like did this as, as a test no so uh, i can send you the link yeah. right 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 yeah, yeah yeah loki fucking rules in here yes crockett i am queen of this of this community king queen you... some shit okay <sighs> Yeah, Whatever. so should we next yeah. question? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so obviously, I, I think there's something that we I, I do want to kind of touch over because I think it's yeah. really, really interesting. Your situation yeah. with fucking um, the puppet bitch. Uh, puppet... Oh, that freak. Yeah, okay. Okay, that freak. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tanya, right? Tanya. All right. Um, so, I, I really... I, I'm pretty sure I know how this all started because it's probably the same way it started when I had problems um, with him her it's a him um yeah it is it, yeah. so so how did that how did that all start so basically right i put out a youtube video saying that i bought a dark web box <laughs> um and obviously i was promoting it on youtube on you now sorry and then i had a broadcast and then i had i got a message from him saying that he was gonna do one i was like do you know what fuck it do it and then Within 40 minutes yeah. of the message coming through saying that he was going to do one, it was on his YouTube. Like, yeah. you know, and he had openly admitted in my chat that he was going to. So I was like, if you're fishing for views, people aren't going to believe that you've bought a bot dark web mystery box. At least give it a week or so to make it believable that it's actually turned up and you've had right. one. But he didn't, and he did it. So and wait. in that. You're telling me yeah. that this whole situation started because Tanya was talking to you about getting, like, following what you're doing in your footsteps of having a, a video, much, yeah. and you kind yeah. of, like, called Tanya out for yeah. for kind of being fake about it? Well, I called her out not I mean, for being fake. I called her out for more, can't you come up with your own original content? I mean, is that, you is, know? Is that really a big deal, though? I mean, everybody copies everybody on it. Like, like you, um, now, you now is the home of people yeah. who believe that they're bright but are not so there's a lot of people who think they're very intelligent very interesting and have lots of ideas but very few actually do and most people just copy other people and follow a kind of uh a social kind of quo in, in itself I, I think it was more of a case of at the time everything i was doing he was copying so i mean like i made a part two he made a part two. Oh, okay so this it, is this is the fell, thing. If you look at if you look fell, at the time gaps of when I upload nah. to when he uploads, it shows. Like the day after I put mine up, he's is up. You know. I mean, um, it, I mean, it is a form of flattery, though. To it is, but then like yeah. when I started doing do uh, you now shows where I would do say a music quiz. Next thing you know, he's doing a music quiz. Really? Yes. You're kidding. So. No, honestly. Wait, so, like, wait I went how to how these... does how does Princess Tanya do a do a music twist? Well, hey there, I'm Princess right. Tanya, and I've got ten questions for you today. Like, right. like you I know. don't I don't get that. Like, that doesn't sound really good. Like, no. <laughs> like you've actually right. got like the equipment, and you're like actually yeah. like DJing and shit. I, I don't really get it. No, um, like this is this is what I don't understand, and and why he would try to do this sort of shit. Um. Thank you for that drink. Um, I don't understand why he would actually do that. Like, try yeah. to be me. 
that's right. that's what it was going on. I don't know whether it, I mean, he tried to do it with Joey. He tried to do it with you. I don't know if it was just me that was the next person. He's obviously seeing something that works. Right. Um, and trying to jump on the bandwagon, which is fine. Like, Dan is cut for a website, but have an, like element of your own content oh, dude this website is super cutthroat the, right. amount, the amount of people who've tried to like copy what i do ain't easy right no exactly i mean there's the i could name five shows off the top of my head the same as the budget let's, yeah let, versions. yeah let's not let's not i mean actually yeah. actually no let's do it let's do it tell me no, tell let's me. not tell me let's tell not. me no. tell me wait come no, on because I, I a lot of these people i am actually so oh i'm sorry um the price and I, I i don't want to lose any more i got banned and when i got banned i only had like 1350 fans i've come back to over 4k so oh, but, pe- but, but the fire starters will appreciate the tea like there's plenty of tea already being spilled and there's probably going to be more spilled very shortly so you know there's <laughs> all right Okay, no problem. So, so when did it like become like a serious problem? Like, like did you call her out? Did she? Did she, like so, he call you out? She? No, uh... I blocked him because of the whole st- like trying to copy my content, and I was just like, you know what? You're boring. He comes in saying that he's my number one, right. demanding that I do stuff for him, like guesting him and stuff. And it was like, bro, the whole time I ever broadcasted you've never once dropped bars you've never once dropped likes you know you say you're my number one fan but go to a list of people on my homepage that i would say are probably more of a fan than you are right you know that have dropped hundreds of thousands of bars on me right you know, that I, without them guys that i wouldn't be where i am but you know yes i appreciate it. I don't just like people that drop bars on me of course i don't you know, I do appreciate right. the people that come in and just invite and stick around and watch my content. Right. But to say that you are my number one fan is when you're not like you know you, you might be, but you literally copy everything you, everything I do on YouTube. You copy you you literally take my tweets and retweet them all the time. Um, you are li- literally I mean, just in this for the clap. I, I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with retweeting a tweet. I'll no, never, I'll never, not. I'll, I'll, I like it when people retweet my tweets. Guys, shout out to people who retweet my tweets. Um, right, but it just friend, becomes a lie. Like, I, I DM'd him and was like, "Bro, calm your tits down. I don't want to have to block you. But if you carry on the way you're going, I am going to block you because I don't want content. Okay. I don't want you to and... sort of." The, the end goes you block you block her yeah. him and then he drops a yeah. diss track about you and right. and then you decide to drop a diss track back which was kind of i mean a- people i i did it because of the fact that i'm heavily involved with music my name's dj fucking with it i just regardless did oh, your it. accent your accent was weird for her. i didn't I like it <laughs> i know but it's it was a- meant to be a joke it was never meant to be serious well, you could you, you could you could use a more like badass voice for it, like use your real I voice. Done. I could have done, but it just didn't. Sound, I just don't think it sounded as good with my own voice. So you you decided to put on a really shitty American accent, and uh... yeah, because I thought it sounded better. <laughs> well, your your own perception of what you think sounds good isn't necessarily the best. At least no. from my perspective, no. I'm Simon Cowell. There you go. Um, right. But <laughs> but again, I I don't I don't sing. I don't rap. I don't. Right, about that I can't even rap. So you know, can, you know, can, it was just the case of I threw it together in two hours. Can you show us? I or I I could show you guys the uh, the song, or I could, I could play it. I could play it. Okay, go for it. You, know, uh, you have my permission to use my content. You know. <laughs> All right, fuck off. <laughs> uh, it's on your YouTube, right? Uh, no, it's on my SoundCloud. It's oh, not SoundCloud. Uh, your SoundCloud. Where can I get your SoundCloud? Is it on your Twitter? Just no, it's just Webby O'Brien. Just type in Webby O'Brien on SoundCloud. <sighs> Are we really like I? I did. I did actually make a part two as well. That's the funny thing, but I've never released what's, it. What's your like your tag name on the URL? Is it Webby and uh, some numbers or? No, it's just Webby O'Brien. All one word. Yeah. Oh, uh, no space. So it's just like. Where, so it's just, just be where, like that. Where are you putting that? Uh, Discord, because I'm not open on anything else. Oh God! How do I show the see the chat on this? 
Never mind. Maybe that wasn't the best of ideas. Hold on, I can. Uh, can I get it from my phone to your Twitter? Yeah, I can't. That should be it. Yeah. Oh, you, you sent me it, you'll, you'll see it because it's my light, it's my DJ. You'll, you'll notice me. Fuck me, you, you got a you got a fucking a little abbreviation, a little O yeah. O. Yeah. Irish man. Are you That's Irish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Alright, I, I, oh, I found it. I got it, I got it, I got it, guys. Right. You ready? You ready? You ready? Right, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it through my side, so you're not gonna be able to hear this, but That's fine. I don't need to hear it, it's cringe as fuck. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna let this slide? I'm just gonna sit here with my bitch. My fucking... Just fucking hide. Tanya, don't be a clown, yeah. Your body looks like you had a fight with you a bear. If you wanna get a drink, you can. Your hair is so greasy. Right, cool. Let's turn that into a fleecy. You might want to call yourself a princess, but that suits you now even less. You might think of yourself to be a royal, but bitch, nobody wants you to be loyal. And now you want to take on the big dog, so here it is, your final test. Can it's only because I blocked you, did you forget? I'm the best. Now let's make a start on the old man next to you. Just stop, he needs a rest. Was it because I never guessed at you, or the fact you look like you come from incest? I see your one video in London. Damn, dog, did you see how you were dressed? That emptiness inside your eyes. Is it because? You're depressed or the lack of sleep you're getting because you know i'm the best i'm gonna give you a chance to come clean wait girl do you even know what that means you might scream and shout now that i can't rap well that's just one thing compared to all your lousy crap your channel's a fright the only time people watch it is when taking a shite hey princess it's i mean it's pretty bad the throne you're in mali use the word shite who says shite webby it was the only thing i could find that rhymed with whatever the word fight Right? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Light, might, <laughs> sight, height, kite. Yeah, but I also wanted to throw the British thing into it. Oh. You know, because shite is a very commonly used word in London. Ha! <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it, it, it was it, it was pretty bad. I mean, it wasn't, I, I, you were just doing it for fun. I mean, right. if, if I was yeah. going to be doing a diss track against somebody, I would want to... I'd probably slow it down really... I'd have, like, a really slow beat, and it would just yeah. be, like, pure banter. Like, just over and over again. It's me taking the piss. Like, yeah. I, I'd probably have, like, a Jean Le Joey beat. Like, really but basic. Again, as I said, the only reason I put that out was because of... Everyone knows me as DJ Webby. I play music, I do this, I do that with music. And I thought, I can't have someone put out a diss track against me and not respond to it. So you, so you decided instead to put out like uh, a diss track in a, an American accent. Right, yeah. With British so, slang. So the whole premise of it was, was the first one, I knew that he, like, I knew that he was going to do a part two because he did with Ryan. So I knew that there was going to be a part two. I mean, I mean, why, I mean, I understand that you're in, into music and stuff, but why yeah. entertain uh, some weird dude who like spends all this time in his bedroom with a fucking puppet that's already like he hasn't washed in like a year? Right. Well, like, the reason I did it was because of I didn't want people to just sort of be like, "Oh, you got owned by a damn puppet." I don't I think that was a lot. I mean, of it. I mean, honestly, did you did you listen to her first? Yeah, of this one. It, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. No. It wasn't. None of them were actually that good. I don't. So I, point, I don't even think you really needed to respond because it no. was so shit in the first place. And I feel like you would have actually come off looking a lot better. It wouldn't. You wouldn't have looked petty. And, no, she, yeah. and and she and he or whatever would have looked petty for like yeah. even going there against you. I mean, the first of it was I did now write this out, so that mm. was how it started. And then people were like, "Just put it out, put it out." And I was like, "Nah, nah." Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna put it out. I just literally did it as a bit of content because I thought, you know what? Let's show people that I can actually write lyrics and I can make a beat and things like that. So I did that, showed that I could do that, and. Then obviously yeah, I put it out like I did on my SoundCloud, um, and cool. it, it went from there really. And then obviously part two came from her, and then I created part two myself, and I did it. I did it sort of. I did it very Eminem esque again, but I used Eminem's Stan yeah. as a bit of a backstory on it because of if anyone knew the reason I was doing it was because of the whole copying me type thing. So I right. thought you know, 
I thought Stan would be quite ironic and that and the whole reason it never got put out was because the moment I put it on SoundCloud it got dumped for copyright and stuff. So Right, right. No, <laughs> I mean I mean it was it wasn't like the worst and to be honest, I feel like some people will disagree with this, but I think it was better than Tanya's. I think Tanya's was, was funnier than yours so, but that's because Tanya's like a joke. Right. You yeah. you're you're not as much of a joke. So no. But again, as I said, said, like, you know, it was never meant to be serious. If I wanted right. to be serious, I would have got someone on my paid some fiver to make me a diss track, you know. Mm. Um, I mean, I think you can be serious about, like, paying people. Yeah. But when you're paying, like, five bucks for someone to make you a diss track, it's not... What, are you going to go on fiver? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, five <laughs> if it wasn't... All right, I all if, right. It was, if it was more of a joke, then if I did it myself... Like, right. And right. No, again, no, no. I, I got... I got some clout from it. It was great. And yeah. uh So so kind of moving on from this, obviously yeah. um I don't know how many of you guys remember this from like my old guard who are watching currently. But when he's been on my stream on you now before and the time he was on, he was actually uh there because it was for a new show that I was experimenting with uh where I was bringing people together who did not like each other. And I was having them talk out their problems and disputes live. It was pretty much like Jerry Springer is probably the right, the best way of kind of putting it. Uh, yeah. And it was it was definitely electrifying. It was uh, it was interesting. And you were on with Acid Bath, the leader of LTAF, Correct. now yes. RAF, I believe, um, who's been on a yeah. bit of a hiatus, but I've seen him streaming again quite recently. So that uh, happened that happened like a year ago. Uh, what have you guys had any contact since being nothing on? at all i mean i guess I, I, in, in a sense it's probably a good thing right oh uh, yeah 100 yeah no i haven't had anything to him or anything yeah. since that um that's good that's really really good yeah i mean it's i think it, i think he blocked me at the end of that i blocked him and then obviously when you jump you know yeah I mean, it was so, good. It was good that you guys managed to kind of speak out your your situations. I I, yeah. I, I do recall there was a couple of very light apologies that were handed out for specific things that were said yeah. and and done. And it seemed like you guys could just kind of go your own way and like agree to disagree, which was really interesting. But like, right. how do you feel like looking back? Like, do you feel like going on the show was like the right decision? Like, I mean, that? like be honest, be honest. It was definitely an eye opening experience for you as well because i think it somebody told me it was like one of your most watched replays of last year yeah so yeah. um it was to just know that basically something that started from something very small ended up to be quite big memorable it was yeah. a memorable thing yeah right. memorable yeah um it's quite a, i mean yes kyle probably it, it was kind of a great thing and from that i thought you know what I could really do something with this if I'm very careful with what I say and I go through this. People love drama on you now. Let's give them what they want, really. And that's why the whole, you know, you asked me earlier, like why I have so much controversy with you now. Yeah. Well, it was more of a case of you. I thought about it and I thought, what could I do to get partnered? Right. You know, because it is hard. It is hard stuff. I've done it three times now. Um, so I thought, what can I do? Well, it worked, and it was great. So if I create drama with people, then maybe I it will get somewhere. I mean, I'm not like that in real life. Like, I'll do a lot yeah. of it unless like people like that, all my friends. That's my that's friends. actually really interesting that you would say that. I mean, it, it's you say you're saying something that I feel like a lot of people do a yeah. lot. And I mean, I, I don't want to say anything, but, but I know I know some people are thinking, oh yeah, that makes sense about some people are on you now. But obviously, the thing about that is, if you do that a lot, then you're gonna end up looking like the boy who cried wolf, aren't you? Right. Yeah. So that's so, why I thought, you know what? Let's 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 change it a bit. Yeah. And instead of creating drama, let's let drama come to me, and then just go it. So I did. With yeah. the whole Tanya situation, that's why I go to it with the Tanya situation. I entertained it for a bit. And now people think that I've killed Tanya, which is <laughs> quite funny because she seems to have just disappeared. Um, just putting out there, I haven't killed Princess Tanya. I do have a restraining order against her. But, uh, you, you, that's you're kidding. Reason. You're kidding. No, no, no. no, no. no. 
Um, that's the you moved on to acid bomb. Wait, to wait, say. wait. So you got a wait, really? A restraining order? Yeah. How yeah, do how do, how do you get the information for Princess Tanya? Um, I basically because of through Twitter and I had DMs and stuff with her. Um, her account and everything's linked to so like her, his real name and stuff is linked to his Twitter so I just handed that to the courts and said this is the person that is causing the issues and I listed out the issues that I wanted resolved and paid I think it was £150 and got it wait if you don't want me asking I don't know yeah. I, what, what the regulations are for kind of speaking about this kind of stuff but sure. um, what, what, what were the things that you listed out that was like so it was a case of this person is harassing I left the I left now for to go and pursue other aspects. This person then decided to follow me, even though they were blocked on my YouTube, blocked on my Twitter, blocked on everything. They then decided to come over to Twitch where I was and start talking in my chat and things like that. So it was a case of you are now to a point of technically this could be seen as stalking because right. you've been harassing me here. I've removed you from every aspect there, but you are now coming to a platform. I didn't even know that you was a member, you know, until you popped up on my screen. So, so when Princess Tango is now following you. When did this restraining order become active? You know, uh, so asking. it was the end of October. I managed so, to get it. Well, so you're telling me that? Wait. Okay, October. All right. Okay. So, so about three weeks ago then. Yeah. That, that's when it was all finalized and everything went so that's probably why through. that's probably why she's kind of gone mia then maybe that's why she possibly but then there's nothing to stay in the restraining order to say that she can't broadcast on you now or think she's just not allowed to sort of come into my chat or anything like that because she can't anyway yeah. she's blocked she can't um, she can't she can't go no. so so what kind of the rule like if she went to my chat and started like talking to you through my chat would that that would be a breach of her uh, uh, restraining order Oh God! And yeah. what? And what? What's the? Uh, what could happen? It depends if... on it. If it depends on the severity of the situation. Wait. So if if they, if if he if he messages you through my chat and starts goading yeah. you in my chat, what do you think? I, is... I, I personally wouldn't do nothing about. It. I think it was more of a case of Princess Tanya lives quite close to me, like ridiculously close. Like, and yes, uh, the yeah. reason I wanted the restraining order was because I don't just want her to find out my information and end up like coming around my house for a fucking right. cup of tea. Right. Um, right, right that was yeah. more of the case of if she's following me to different platforms, that was more of the wake up call. Of, yeah. Maybe I need to do something about this because this could potentially happen. Right. You know, right, um, right. Because of this person's already showing me that they are fucking crazy. Right. By following me to different platforms. So yeah. let's just put a stop to this right now. No, no, I completely, I completely get it. So yeah. that's that's actually really interesting. I had no idea that you you did that. That's uh, mm. I've been I've been considering getting a restraining order against not, somebody. Not on... many people do know. I, I mean, I did did announce it on a broadcast once. Yeah, um, I, I've been considering doing doing it on a supporter of Ryan's who I've been having who, who I used yeah. to have problems with, but she's not really an issue anymore. But I was I was definitely considering it. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't even think it's relevant at this point, Sarah. For, for him to email. They, they're aware of it. Oh, are they aware? Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. I had, oh. to, I had uh, to make them aware. Oh, really? Yeah. It's... It was part of the conditions of the, 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 the restraining order. They said that any social media platform to inform them of it. Oh, shit. Okay. So, you now know, Twitch knows, YouTube know, and so do Twitter. Oh, shit. Fuck a duck. Instagram, Instagram yeah. yeah. And uh, Chatterbait as well. Right. <laughs> I'm not on chat. <laughs> okay, Although okay. It's good money for anyone that wants. Yeah, it is pretty good money from what I've heard. I mean, vegan cheetahs seems to be making quite a lot. Vegetable cat, yeah. Um... <laughs> Vegetable cat, I love that. So, Just... so, so obviously you're back now, and you're yep. now moving towards 5k. Are you still hoping to get parted? Are you still pushing towards that? I think I've realised that after getting my account back, that I'm probably not gonna ever get partnered. You think you're blacklisted now? I would say that I am. I mean, I'm going to push. I mean, like, I'm mm. going to try out something when I get to 5K. You've got to really, you've got to really, like, break a lot of rules a lot in order to yeah. get yourself, like, blacklisted. You've got to be a real pain in the ass. Like, no, you, that... When I get to 5K, I'm going to try out, and I'm basically going to set up another Uno you know, account from a different laptop, and I'm just going to put a shitload of bars on the account and then just give them to myself as a test. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's really the best thing to be announcing, and I don't know if that's really the well, best no, thing to, to be doing. Really... To be fair, nothing Christ said should... here can take him back to you. I mean, technically... They made that very clear to me. I mean, technically, okay, sure, but what I do want to say, Webby, and yeah. I, maybe you should do more of a Dancing Mario approach. When Dancing Mario was trying to get partnered, he had a supporter called Damn Jane, and he used yeah. to send, and as far as I'm aware, he sent her hundreds of dollars through cash yeah. apps, and then she would drop the bars. Right. So maybe through a third party, somebody you respect, yeah, and maybe, um, and I mean, obviously there is a it's fundamentally it's the same thing. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I feel like you, you, well, if you if you made the secondary account, it'd probably get banned and you'd lose all those bars. It's probably better to play it safe and uh, yeah. work through a third party. But it is there are some people really frown upon that being done. Um, well, no, I, it's the it's the only way I'm ever gonna. Not, of, not necessarily. I, not necessarily. You know. I mean. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe. Uh... I mean, I, I personally don't think I because of I I I just want to test it because when I sent back a message to you now saying about my account back, it's like I really want to work towards 5K. I really want to become a partner, and I really want to be able to deliver my content. Right. And to, for me to say that, they, I mean, they, they unban they did unban me, so right. there has to be an element of. Dude, trust me, you're not blacklisted. Yeah. You're not, dude. Okay. If I could get away with, you know, telling somebody to, you know, go drink fucking bleach and. Yeah, but the different. You, I, you didn't go. You just told them bleach. I turned around and basically said to him that I was going to drive a knife through his chest and rip it out his guts. That was. Oh, you know. lo oh, lovely. Oh, <laughs> thanks, thank, thanks for telling us the actual. Right. Uh, you actually said to him. No wonder you got suspended. Um... Right. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing held back. It <laughs> uh, you would have been pulling a lot out, and you know if it, if it went through. But um, oh, okay, that's no. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely here for seeing you get partnered. I'd like to see you get partnered. Uh, right. I mean, you I, saw I, I you saw me get you saw me get partnered, so it'd be yeah. it'd be a nice. I've, I've seen a lot of people. I've helped a lot of people get partnered as well. Ah, uh, don't I think it's ah. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Webby with his infinite help. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, when you come, it don't because I drop bars on people or anything like that. Just right. being a supporter of theirs, being every single broadcast, make, helping them by right. sharing the right. bars. I don't mean like dropping bars. I'm just saying like I've helped a lot of people get partnered. You know, KDC, yourself, Joey. Fucking, I remember a time when Joey was struggling to get me, Corinne, and him going to people's broadcasts and being dropping his link in the chat and be like, yo, go fan him up. He's trying to get a thousand fans. Like I remember doing that to help him yeah. get to it. Yeah. And then I remember obviously him getting partnered, and then I remember helping him get his sub button in that competition. So the point that, like, during the night when it was daytime here, I would guess with him, I would lose broadcast, for sleep. Yeah. Do you know? You know, uh, that's 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 now, what I mean by helping people. And now he's on live, me, hooray! No, he's back. He's Is he? back on YouTube. He's back on you now. Yeah, him and Corinne have come back. When did when 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 did they? When was their debut? Um. So <laughs> I didn't see. It. I was banned at the time. I think it was Monday they came back. Under oh. the, the name of Power Couple. Oh, I cool. Yeah. Part of it. Changing up Joey's sub button and stuff like that to be like him and Korean. Oh, so it's like the the, the Ballast Joey account has been re, re turned into this Power Couple account. Yeah, it's been rebranded. I think just like Winky. Oh. Rebranded now. That's. They are na they are known as Power Couple 69. I like the 69 on the end. That's that's cool. Oh, wait, wait, it was Joey. It's always going to be. No. Yeah, Webby's mic is cutting out a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's 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 functional. Um, no, that's cool. I mean, I I I heard they were coming back, but I didn't. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, yeah, I have to stop by and say hello and welcome them back. I think but, they do it like crazy time, so I don't think. Right, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It could be it could be the Discord chat that's kind of like causing this. I I, you know, it is what it is. Um, no, I mean that's that's pretty cool, dude. I think I think we're actually pretty much done here. I think we, yeah, I man. got I got through a lot of my questions. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been really no worries, bro. been really chill actually. I think it's been uh, it's been it's been fun. I, I don't think anyone thought I was going to be this chill. I think everyone gets him. Chris. Is well, I mean, I only feel like that would have happened if I legitimately like brought Chris on at the same time and like had you guys <laughs> go at it, which I feel like I, would have been really really entertaining. But I don't think it would have been good for either of you and. No, but if it's done uh, yeah. on here, oh, I'm, I'm more than. Yeah, but like, am I okay with it? I'll probably get fucking a strike for it. My account will get deleted. I'll be gone. Uh, I, 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 I promise you then that I would restrain and I'd be pretty chill like I am now. I don't know. 
don't know. There's, I mean, I, I trust you, Webby, but uh, it only takes one inappropriate comment and then boom! Like, <laughs> Webby pull, takes off his cap, shows his receding hairline, you know, uh, while man Chris is blinded by it, you know? Yeah. And now he's complaining about having a stroke and being blind. It's just, it's a difficult, it's a difficult world. Um, dark humor, everybody. My apologies. But yeah, Webby, thank you very much, man. Uh, I really do no appreciate worries, it. I uh, hope you have a good night. And you, man. Thank you very much. All right, dude. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yay! That was great, everybody. Did you enjoy that? Did you did, did you have fun? Did did we have fun today? Did we have fun? Who's watching? Who's watching? Ah, oh, I'm taking this off now. I'm taking this off because my my ears feel extremely clamped down. I do not like it. We have 77 people here, but is anybody actually watching? Yeah, I am going to do an after show on, on you now, just for a little bit. Um, came in late to the drama. Well, I'll tell you guys right now, I'm leaving that up public, so if any of you guys did miss a portion of this interview, you can watch it back at your own leisure. You can listen to us talk about phallus. You can you can listen to us talk about lots of different things. So, I mean, I feel like you're, you're getting a pretty good deal on, on YouTube Live, and it's free. You don't have to subscribe for it. But still subscribe on you now if, if you you know if, if you if you want to. Um, thanks. Uh, free replay, right? Right. I'm still waiting for proof of a picture leak. Well, um, Abby does have a picture of me uh, shirtless with Webby's dick attached to my forehead through Snapchat, and it's a unicorn pic. It's great. It's great. Um, yeah, so it, it seems we've got about 25 or so people active in the channel. Everybody else seems to be on mute watching somebody on you now. <laughs> How dare you leave? Um, but yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about uh, the interview. Instead, I'm going to go live on you now. Uh, and we can continue in hashtag my gift. Uh, we've been doing pretty well in the competition. And uh, obviously the night is still young, so I'll see you guys there, okay? Thank you very much. We can talk about well, everything you liked in the interview, everything you didn't like, in hashtag my gift. All right. Are you going to stay small because the blackness is depressing? Well, I'm actually ending the stream, so calm down. Um, all for the low price of four ninety nine a month. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you guys there. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the replay, the free replay, the free uh, stream. Goodbye, everybody.